This is a short tutorial on how you can use Adobe Acrobat Reader to add comments and highlights to text and images in PDF documents. So you can see that I am not signed in. So these are basic features from Adobe Acrobat Reader, which is a free download. You can access other things and experiment with more tools. Uh, today we're going to focus on the highlighting feature, which is with the highlighter icon, and the commenting feature, which is the sticky note icon. So the first thing we'll do is say, perhaps you want your students to focus on elements of an image. So you would just click on the highlighter icon and click and hold as you circle certain things. You don't have to just circle though. You can, let's say, highlight by clicking and just dragging around areas you want students to focus on. That's one option. Now another option would be click on the sticky note or uh, speech bubble icon. Tap where you want to type your comments. So, for example, this rabbit represents... Da -da 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 -da, and I click post and then I tap out and when you've saved it, the person viewing it should be able to mouse over as I'm doing now and then the text that you've commented on uh, or added as a comment will pop up. Now that's one feature. Let's say, for example, you want to use it by highlighting text. It's the same thing. Let's say, for example, this is a student's essay. You would click on the comment box, and the same thing, you would just kind of comment on whatever piece of text. Add your comment, add your post, and then the student should be able to mouse over and look at your comments as they see the little speech bubbles throughout their piece of work. If you want, you might want to highlight and then add the speech bubble next to it so they know a little more clearly that you're looking at two or three different sentences or one uh, longer passage from their work. You want to also be sure to save it. So you click the save icon and your save dialog will come up. Now, if you do use Adobe and you're signed in, you might want to upload it and save it in the cloud. You might want to print it, you might want to mail it to somebody. One thing that you will want to do is save the file. And you could choose a different folder, etc. But until you save it, uh, the changes won't appear for the next person that views it. And that's it.